Good morning. Good morning. And Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, this is the first Sunday of Advent. It's, it's a wonderful day to be here. It's a little chilly, a little rainy, but, but uh, it's, it's a glorious day nonetheless. Thank you for being here at Meadowview Church, 768 Summit Road, Eden, North Carolina. Uh, for our announcements, um, notice who's not here and let them know we miss them. <coughs> our, our bingo is stopped until April. We do our bingo games from April through November. And this year we raised $405. And this will go to the Rockingham uh, <coughs> Council of Bible Education, which pays uh, teachers. There, there's nine teachers all together, some on part-time, some on full-time, uh, that work. Uh, there's a, a, a bus for uh, elementary students in grades four and five that they actually get on the, the, the bus. They have three buses, and they... Uh, go off of school campus and study the Bible. Parents have to, uh, you know, allow them to do that. And of course, in middle school and high school, it's an elective course, just like uh, chorus or band or, you know, various things, art and so forth. Again, parents sign, uh, giving permission for them to do this. But it's, it's a wonderful class. I can testify to that because I subbed in the class a number of times, and it was a joy to be there with those students. Pray for the countries of Ukraine and Israel. We need bingo prizes for the nursing home. I'll go the next day or two and take in the birthday cards for December and what we've got, but we're constantly needing more prizes for the nursing home, so you can bring them any, any Sunday. It's no special time for you to bring them. We're also collecting food for the food pantry. We sent uh, with uh, Karen and all that we had this past Tuesday night so they could uh, go ahead and have that and I'll carry what we collect over to uh, spray once a month and, and give it to them. They uh, actually give out food on the third Saturday of each month. This last time they had, I think it was 74 boxes and they were uh, uh, feeding, of course, Families, so it was, it was a lot more than in 74 that, that actually benefited from, from what uh, was there. Uh, I appreciate those people that came and helped decorate the church. I think the church is beautiful inside and out, and uh, we'll certainly enjoy this for the entire uh, Advent season. Today is our Christmas service, so we'll be asking people to come up and put some Christmas on the tree today. Uh, our Christmas banquet is next Saturday at 5 o'clock. Diane has already got the ham and the turkey. So think about it. Okay. <laughs> Dressing and gravy. Uh, th think about what you want to bring uh, to go along with that next Saturday. The food is always delicious. So, so please come and share in that. Uh, next Sunday, if you would like to uh, put flowers in the church, if, if you will call me, text me, or whatever, uh, if you want to put a flower in the church that you can get, you can get them. I got these at uh, Walmart. They've got many more. They're beautiful. They've got smaller ones, the same size. Either one's fine. But if you'll let me know who you're putting the flower in the church in memory or in honor of, I will fix a special bulletin uh, with that information on it. So, well, Liz and I and our family provided these two for the church. Our love feast, our candlelight service, and a very short little program will be on December the 17th. So, 6 o'clock, please come for that. And on uh, December the 20th at 5 p.m., there is an outdoor nativity scene at Spray United Methodist Church. I said I would advertise their nativity scene if they would advertise our candlelight service and love feast. So uh, usually they have a number of people that come from there. As you came into the church, you passed 
the post office box. So if you want to give Christmas cards to people here in our congregation, don't put stamps on it. Just bring it, put it in the box, and we'll have uh, helpers here that will distribute it uh, to the, the people that uh, whose name is on the envelope. Um, another announcement, uh, we have a, a, a different kind of tree over here to my left. Th this is a cherry blossom tree. If you go to Walmart, that's what it's called. But I'm going to call it our giving tree. I started to call it our more tree, but uh, giving, I think, sounds a little bit better. And, and the reason I had thought about more, I'm going to give you next Sunday, everybody that's here, I'm going to give you an index card with a little hole punched on it and a uh, Christmas tree hanger, a uh, little hook. I'm going to ask you to write on the card, what are you going to give Jesus this year? <coughs> now, you, you might say more prayer, more Bible reading. I'm going to be more forgiving. I'm going to help others more. So see where the more comes in. Uh, and, and there's, you know, lots of things that you can say. I, I don't know what you're going to write on. But I'll ask each person to come up and actually hang their card on the giving tree. Um, you, you know, God has been so good to each one of us. Uh, he's provided us, blessed us, and we, we need to intentionally think about what can we do in giving back to God to serve Him, to bless Him, to just let Him know we appreciate God and Jesus. So anyway, next week I'll, I'll give you the, the card and ask you uh, to, to write down your gift for Jesus and then during the service we'll come up and actually hang them on our giving tree. Next Thanksgiving it's going to be our Thanksgiving tree. I'll give you a card and ask you to write down what you're thankful for. And then maybe on Veterans Day I'll ask you to think about somebody you know or in your family or friend that, that was in service and write their name on the card that we might remember that person, think about that person. We can also come up and, and hang that. So it, the tree has a number of, it's not a Christmas tree. For me, anyway, it's not. It, it's it's going to be a, a multi-used tree uh, during the, the church calendar year. So, um, In a couple of minutes, I want Tim and Judy to come up and light uh, the first candle on the right on our Advent wreath. It's not quite time. I got the card up here and the flame here, and I'm sorry I didn't mention it to you earlier, but I got busy and was talking with people. Uh, other announcements. We were in the uh, Draper Parade yesterday. Anybody here to go to the Draper Parade? There was a truck there that was driven by Eric D. Hart and his friend Rochelle Hopper. They sometimes uh, come and sit on the back pew along with Eric's mom. Um, they've had meetings every Sunday after church and they haven't been able to come back. Uh, they go there and, and work and then come here after that. But anyway, they had a float in the parade and they fixed a, uh, a sign that said Meadowview Church. It's, it's got our YouTube address on it so people can see our services and, and so forth, and our address. And they got that done, I think, in Martinsville. And they were going to donate it. And uh, they went. They, they had two signs prepared. The couple got to talking with. Eric, and they donated the two signs to our, basically our church, and Eric was going to pay for the signs, so uh, he contributed to our church while he was going to pay for the signs. So I'm very thankful for their help in getting our name out. It was on the, both sides of the truck, 
And uh, so we were, we were in the Draper Parade, uh, knowing or not. <laughs> so that was good. I appreciate their, their support and their help, and uh, they, they enjoy our church, as well as they're very active in, in spray. Uh, other announcements? Well, uh, Diane. How much did it cost us to get out? $9,348.33. Praise God. conference, but they were wonderful. And, and also, Janice will, will still have to, the extra amount we'll have to pay because we'll have to continue the insurance with Church Mutual for three years. Right. It has to be three years from the date they disaffiliated us. So you'll have three years to pay. They wanted $1 million coverage, and we gave them how much? still have a small fee that our lawyer here will charge us for filing with the <coughs> Seth Woodall is our lawyer. He does a wonderful job. Give him a plug. <laughs> Anything else? Do we have any birthdays? Anniversaries. We're going to sing one song today because I cut the program to have plenty of time for this month. Stand as you're able, turning your hymn book to number 389. Came upon a midnight clear. 389.
which now the angels sing. Please join with me in our call to worship that comes from Romans 13. The hour has come for you to wake up from your slumber. Because our salvation is nearer now than in the first day. The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. You may be seated. We have many on our prayer list that we want to lift up today. Uh, we want to lift up Tabitha Godwin, our nation, David Moore, those not here today, our schools, James Stevens, Karen Johnson, the country of Ukraine, Lois Kizar, Dwayne Jeffries, Barney McBride, Luann Joyce, <coughs> Steve Price, UNC Rockingham Rehab, Ricky Hall, Cindy Bowling, Joe Bowling, Betty Booth, Jackie Carter, Michael Gardner, Mildred Lee, Laura Brown, Mike Baker, the Simmons family, Jimmy Secrets, Christy Sweat, all churches, uh, Frank Silver, Pat Stoltz, uh, Deborah Feeney, Unspoken Request, uh, Eden Rehab Center, Judy Morris, Wyoming Noma Price, uh, Caitlin Cameron and Baby Bennett, Carol Stalter, the Thacker family, Roger Bailey family, um, Israel, um, Chris Shelton, Rachel Martin, Peggy Kendrick, uh, and the Lawson family. Uh, that was the people that provided our signs, uh, Anthony, Brenda, and Melissa asked for prayer. Do we have others that we need to lift up or update, update on our list? Right. Yeah, so I got a text message this morning that she was really feeling bad. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, when Jeffers is at the UNC rehab, they said she's doing real good with her best therapy and hopes to be done before her treatment. Okay, Gwen Jeffries. Others. Uh, Where's my brother, Jesse Carter? Okay. Mm -hmm. He had some emergency surgery one day this week and he's doing actually good. Uh, he had a blockage in his intestines. So he's really doing good. I like to see him now. Absolutely. Others. One other price update. She's at her son's house now. <coughs> on praying and hope she continues to do better. Others? Wayne, prayers for those who have lost family members in the last week or two. One day, and one day I was at Fair Funeral Home and signed three registers of people that I knew and then went to a funeral of a girl I used to work with. So remember all those people and their yeah. families. Absolutely. It has been an awful lot. Others? Yes? Uh, a friend of ours, mother, Nancy, Seals, has got COVID. And seal. It's got an S on the end. Seals or seal? Seals, I think. Okay, thank you. Okay, others. Let us pause for our meditation and our prayers. so many needs and yet you're always with us 24 hours a day and you know every single need that we've got be with those that are sick heal their bodies strengthen them remove their pain help them to return to to a normal level of activity if that's within your will father be with everyone that's grieving it's a long process just lift them up and carry them forward be with all of the problems that exist, whether it's an individual concern, a family concern, an organizational concern, a government concern, uh, 
Lord, just, just help us to find resolution for all the different problems that exist in our world today. Lord, we thank you for Jesus Christ, that you were willing to share him with this world, that you allowed him to come and be born as a baby, that he grew up, that he ministered, that he died and rose again, and that by believing on him we might have eternal life. Help us to keep Jesus ever in the foremost of our minds as we celebrate this Christmas season. Lord, be with this church where we're about to start on a new road. Help, help us to be obedient to you. Help us to have the wisdom, the energy, the courage to move forward and serve you in all kinds of wonderful ways. Lord, lead and guide us. And we ask this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. So Joe and uh, Francis, if you'd come up for a morning offering, please. Doxology. Seated, Tim and Judy, if you would come up and uh, light the purple candle there on the front on your right. And again, the candles <coughs> there on the table. This one. Front. Yeah. Is that the front? Mm -hmm. Wait, why do you get front? That's right. <laughs> Which one? Oh, I got it. First. We light this candle as a symbol of expectation. May the light sent from God shine in the darkness to show us the way to salvation. O come, O come, Emmanuel. <laughs> Wayne, this is smaller than it was last year. It's smaller for me too. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Nick and Isaiah, if you would come up and share with us in song.
tells us thank you so much. Puts us into the Christmas spirit. So thank you for sharing. I'm not going to take you just a couple of minutes and talk about Christmas before we get started. Uh, Christmas, of course, started up in uh, Danville, Virginia, and we've had people to go up there to the church and actually visit there, and we've had people here at the church to make Christmas. Some that we put on the church were some that the youth made a long, long, long time ago, and uh, some of them are, are, are newer and, uh, and so forth. Uh, the tree has uh, lights on it. Everything with the chrismon is normally in an either white or gold. And of course the white lights and the, the, the tree uh, emphasizes life. It's green and, and so forth. Our, our tree is was given to the church in memory of uh, Willis and Barbara Stubbs. Moselle and Truett Parlier, and Gertie and Billy Brown. So uh, we want to uh, thank them for our tree that we, we used it last year and we're going to go this year, and it is gorgeous. Uh, Liz, if you'll come up at Chris Mons, if uh, Nick and Z and uh, Ethan would come up and, and help. It's a whole lot easier for me to say Z instead of. <laughs> Isaiah, that's three syllables. Z is just one. So, so, if you hear me say Z, you know who it is. Uh, our first Chris Vine, which is a lamb. It's for all the saints from Meadowview and Riverview, uh, both present and past. So, one of you will put the lamb on the tree. The lamb stands for Christ. Christ was the lamb that was slaughtered. The, the lamb that was given for each one of us. Next, for... Uh, Silas Strader and his wife Lily Strader, their daughter Evelyn. Um, we know that she's a missionary. Uh, we have a sphere with an angel. And the sphere stands for the earth. The angel is a creation of God, often sent to earth carrying messages. So, again, we've got uh, that sphere. Diane and Francis, if you come up and put on a, a Christmas for the two of you and all those so for, for, for Jessica and Stephen, we have an eight-pointed star. This is a concealed chrismon used by Christians who were persecuted in the early times. Uh, the crossing lines reveal high row and crosses. It also refers to regeneration through holy baptism. Sometimes these hooks just don't want to cooperate. Tim and Judy, if you'd come up along with Ethan. We've got a cross on a circle inside of a square. The saving work of Christ shows God's eternal love for all of us around the earth, even to the four corners of the earth. For Rhonda Berry and Haley Chapman, We've got a multi-pointed star, and this star points toward heaven, or stands for heaven, which is our final destination, if we are Christians. Janice, if you would come up, and also in memory of uh, Ronald, we have an angel. An 
angel is the messenger from God. God, God sent, sent angels here to earth many times, and uh, he can still do that. So don't be surprised. In memory of uh, Deborah Donovan and for Earl, Ethan, you might want to put that one on. We have a circle with a cross. Eternal life with God. And cross within, within the circle itself. Kathy, if you would come up for you and Jim and uh, Caitlin and Cameron in memory of uh, Lucy Rose, uh, we have the veil. I love the veil. It symbolized the need of purity and priority for things of God over the secular. The veil sounds forth the word of God into the world. For Carol Griffin, in memory of Reed, and also for Doug Wentz, we have a circle with a cross. It stands for eternity because it's without beginning, it's without end. The message of Jesus is to all the world. In memory of Bill and Annette Habisky, we have an angel. And notice we, we're repeating some things, but they're often different in, in various ways. The wings celebrate or symbolize a divine mission. So angels and cherubim are often shown with wings. Angels announce both the Savior's birth and the Savior's resurrection. For Peggy Kendrick and in memory of Roy, we have a cross with an IX monogram. The IX symbol consists of the initial letters for the Greek words for Jesus Christ. For Reverend Ed Kizar and his wife Lois, who serve both Meadowview and Riverview, we have a rose in a circle. The rose stands for the Messiah. Sometimes the rose also stands for the Lord's mother, Mary. The circle represents eternity and by extension, God, the only eternal one. In memory of uh, Ethel and Zendale Lemons, we have a shamrock. Three leaflets on one stem. It illustrates the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Judy, if you would, Judy Morris, if you want to come up, or if you want them to hang it for you, it's for you and Billy. Okay. Uh, we have a circle with Bethlehem, the city where Jesus was born. In memory of Orin and Vivian Slayton, we have a spear. Jesus told us to be able to share God's love and redemption around the world. Nick, if you want to put up uh, a, a circle, this is for myself, Liz, you, Amanda, and Justin. Uh, the circle stands for eternity because it's without beginning and without end. For Hunter and Cole, Harley and their families, we have a vine with a, a circle. Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. The work of God tells us this now and for all eternity. <coughs> for Kate Price, <coughs> and in memory of Marjorie Price, we've got uh, a key. Christ is the key to the center of our faith. He unlocks the meaning of the scripture. For Bobby and Joan Witt, we have an angel. Again, an angel is a messenger from God to earth. For James and in memory of Shirley, uh, we have a butterfly. Uh, James, you want them to 
put it up for you or you want to? Okay. A butterfly is a sign of life. Remember the redemption of Jesus who died for us. And even though we die, yet we live. Kathy, you want to put up one for Pat? We have a Latin cross. This is the most widely used form of the cross today. It's a reminder of our Lord's saving grace. Notice the upright is longer than the cross beam on the Latin cross. Okay, Ethan, you might want to put the next one on. It's for Jerry, Ashley, Cora, and Charlie. It's a dove. All four Gospels speak of the Spirit of God descending like a dove when Jesus was baptized. The dove has become the symbol of the third person in the Trinity, the Holy Spirit. In memory of Louise and David Witt, we have a circle with a triangle. The Holy Trinity is eternal, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Norman Buddy, we have for you a multi pointed star. Uh, it's white, it shows purity, it, it has multi points to it, and it's simply sharing that grace goes out. Everybody. Joe, if you'll come up and put one on the tree for yourself in the of normal. We have a sphere with a square and a crown. This is one of our oldest Christmas. Christ's victory over sin and death. And this world will be told to the four corners of the earth. Our youth made that many, many, many years ago. In memory of Louise and Merlin Smith and uh, my Uncle Tom, uh, we have a five-pointed star. Again, this represents our, our Savior who came to earth to save us. And the 520 star always reminds us of heaven. Either Liz or Nick, in memory of Billy and Gertie Brown, we have a church. Christ is the foundation of the church. <coughs> Therefore, the church certainly stands for Jesus Christ and all of his work on this earth. Uh, Kathy, you want to put up one for your parents? Willis and Barbara Stokes. We have a Latin cross. It's made of porcelain and got gold on it and white. Uh, it stands for Christ. The cross reminds us of God's saving work of redeeming mankind through the sacrifices that he made on the cross and many other times. In memory of Clyde Ray, we have an epiphany star. The number of points that a star has gives specific meaning to that chrismon. Five points represents our Savior. Gold is a symbol for the glory and the majesty of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ. In memory of Tommy and Laverne Warren, we have a dove. The dove expresses innocence and purity. It signifies the Holy Spirit and the presence of God hovering over the water at creation and above Jesus Christ at his baptism there in the River Jordan. In memory of O.C. Buster Jones, we have a circle and has no end. This type of sphere with no beginning, no end. Uh, it shows us God's saving work is for all eternity. In memory of uh, Fred and I mean, swimming, we have grace. 
And of course, remember that the first miracle that is recorded is where God turned uh, water into wine, which represents grapes. We don't know that he was the first miracle. It's the first miracle that's recorded in the Bible. I can imagine Jesus as a little boy seeing a little bird that was hurt, walking over and touching it, and making it whole. So, uh, we have to sometimes think outside the box. Um, in memory of Arthur and Becky Kendrick, we have a church. Uh, and again, the church represents uh, the work of God here on this earth. And of course, uh, Arthur and Becky loved our church and all the work that they did while they were here. In memory of Johnny and Georgie Ferguson, we have a five-pointed star in a circle. Because of God's eternal love, he gave us Jesus that represented by this eternal star. In memory of Neem Sweet, we have a circle with star. God's love through his son Jesus was to all the earth, just as this circle is covered completely with gold beads. In memory of Cecil and Hazel Estes, we have Mary with the Christ child in a circle. The white stands for purity and reminds us of the nativity scene. For uh, Charles and Betty Garrett, we have a Latin cross. It's a reminder that Christ died for us, an atonement for sin that we couldn't do for ourselves. For Vicki Kendrick, we have grapes. A bunch of grapes signifies the sacrament of the Holy Spirit. Communion also. And you know, we have communion doing what Jesus asked us to do in remembrance of Him. In memory of Howard Harbor, we have a circle. Our mission is to circle the world with the gospel, sharing God's love for all mankind. Tim, would you like to come up? And Judy, uh, for Robert and Lydia, Gord, uh, Roar, in memory of Amanda, we have a sphere that's covered with pearls. The sphere stands for the earth. The pearls stand for the Word of God. The Word of God covers the earth. In memory of C.L. and Elaine Kendrick, we have a Latin cross. It's white with gold trim. Again, it's the most popular of all the crosses. For Jimmy and Barbara Wright, we have a, 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 a star uh, it stands for Christ who came to earth to save us. It has uh, multi-points on it. And uh, uh, Barbara's a good supporter of our church. So I send her a bulletin every Sunday, and she supports our church in, in various ways. For Rachel Martin, in memory of Charles, we have a Greek cross. All parts of the Greek cross are equal. The balanced form was widely used by the early Greeks. It means that, that all the parts of that cross, all the little branches, are equal in length. For Martha Ames and in memory of Thomas, we have a multi-pointed star. Again, the star stood over where the Christ child lay there in the manger on Christmas Day. In memory of Arnold Price, 
We have narrate with the Christ child in a circle. Next, you might want to put the next one up. It's for uh, Truett and Moselle Parlier, the grandparents. It's a butterfly. It stands for resurrection. And mom and daddy made butterflies. Daddy cut them out of plywood. Mama painted them. And, and they're still, if you go in their doctor's office here in Eden, you might see a butterfly hanging on the wall uh, there in their office. They love to make and, and give out butterflies. To, to people that they thought a whole lot of them meant. In memory of Mike Parlier, this is an angel. Mike was my brother, and of course again an angel uh, speaks messages from God. In memory of Sanford Ambram, we have a church. Christ is the foundation of the church. For Deborah's daughter, Karen and Matthew and Paige, we've got a key. Christ is the key to heaven in our Christian life. And Kim, if you happen to talk with them, tell them we put a quiz mark on the three for them. In memory of Joe and Pauline Barron, we've got an angel. Again, angels carry messages to earth. They, they actually announced the birth of Christ. Remember, it was angels that went to the shepherds and told them about Jesus. In memory of Jim Eames, Jim's dad, we have a five-pointed star. This stands for heaven. In memory of Jack Thomas, we have a church. The church is the body of Christ. Romans says that the church is one body in Christ. Uh, Ephesians states that Christ is the chief cornerstone of the church. In memory of Frank and Hazel Sweeney, we have a multi-pointed star. Remember the star that was shining over Bethlehem that was leading the lights. In memory of Chester, Betty, and Curti uh, Siegel, uh, Cletus Light, we have a dove. Um, the dove is a symbol for the Holy Spirit that we find uh, many times in Holy Scripture. Diane, would you like to put one up for your parents? Memory of Irvin and Nona Denny. We've got a, a, a five-pointed star. And, and again, the, the, the points uh, represent Christ's saving grace. Uh, you know, without Christ, we would have no hope. But Christ is our hope and our salvation. In memory of Maybud and Clyde Rogers, we've got an eight-pointed star. Again, there's all kinds of stars. A lot of them bring light to the world. In memory of Thelma and Irvin Hooker, we have an angel. And again, an angel is able to uh, share. Heaven's got many angels in it. In memory of C.L. Haraway, uh, Rachel Haraway, Margaret Haraway, we have a Latin cross. In memory of Bill and Nora Kendrick, we've got a crown. A crown is for a king, and Jesus was a king. He just wasn't an earthly king. He was a heavenly king. In 
in memory of Glenn and Annie Bowles, we have a heart. The heart stands for love. God is love. In memory of Nomi and Irene Grogan, we have a Latin cross. Again, the most popular of all the different crosses that exist. In memory of Judith and Shorty Chilton, sacrifice that Jesus made for us. In memory of Johnny and Ethel Gardner, we have a nativity. The nativity uh, reminds us of when Christ was born. In memory of May Coffee, We have a five-pointed star. Again, a star that points toward heaven. In memory of Lola Bailey, we have another Latin cross. Some of these porcelain crosses that have gold on them came to us uh, through Lois Kizar from Riverview, Presbyterian Church, we appreciate you sharing with us. In memory of Sedelia Miley, we have, what, what have you got? Another cross, thank you. Uh, cross, crosses are important. We, we, we've got crosses right here in our church, on the pulpit, uh, over the door, and uh, we used to have one back where the picture is behind me. In memory of Mike Flanagan, we have a circle or a sphere. A sphere represents the earth and that Christ is going out to all the earth. In memory of Betty Slate, we have an angel. Angels came to minister to people on earth. In memory of Bob Boone and his daughter, Dr. Angela Boone, we have another Latin cross. Angela was, called, was taken from this earth way too early. She was a uh, doctor for several of us that are here today. For Sarah Mathis, we have another angel. This is a, a, a crocheted angel. Uh, solid white. In memory of, uh, you know, we've already put this one on, so um, we'll skip on to the next one. In memory of Mabel Questenberry, we've got a uh, five pointed star. For the family of Tom and uh, Marianne Barber, uh, let's see what you've got, Ethan. Okay, yeah, this is a nativity scene in a sphere. It actually shows Bethlehem uh, there. Isaiah, for you and your family, you've got... Uh, a Latin cross. This is a handmade Latin cross that was made by our youth many, many years ago. It, it's got the, the white beads. Again, it's the Latin cross 
uh, the most familiar type of cross. In memory of Marvin Boyd, we have a cross inside of a multi-pointed star. In memory of Alice Gillespie, we have a Latin cross. In memory of Dale Bowles, we have a dove. Dove symbolizes the Holy Spirit. Suzanne, be coming on up. Okay. Uh, we have for you a, uh, a Latin cross. It's one of my favorite Christmas uh, Christmas uh, because of what the cross, cross, cross did, not only for us today, but for our future. Um, Fort Lawrence Johnson is his wife and his daughter Destiny. We have a multi pointed star. For Marilyn and in memory of Bill Carter, we've got a multi pointed star. Notice they're, they're can be a multi-pointed star, but look quite different. Some of them are long, some of them are small, some of them uh, have five stars, some of them have eight stars, some of them have multi-pointed stars. In memory of Ronnie Sweeney and for his wife, Cindy, we have another five-pointed star. For Laura Brown and in memory of Tony and also for Luann Joyce, uh, we have a dove. For Eric Dehart and Rochelle Hunter, uh, we have a, uh, a Latin cross, I think. No, it's a dove. And that symbolizes the Spirit of God. For all of our bingo players, we have uh, about 15 different people, and we, we have the, uh, a Latin cross for them. I told them I was going to put something on the tree for the group, and they were very faithful in coming uh, to, to bingo. And uh, while they will miss it, uh, the weather is getting much more difficult. For Christy Sweat and in memory of her mom, Mary Frances Haley, we have an angel. Mary Frances is an angel up in heaven right now. In memory of Elmer and Nanny Rogers, we have a five pointed star. In memory of James Early and Leela Estes, we have a five, we have uh, an angel. For Bascom, Molly Harefield, Francis Harefield, in memory of them, we have a multi pointed star. This is different from all the others. This one was handmade. For Tom and Carrie Stovall, in memory of them, we've got grapes, remembering the first miracle that Jesus performed, and also communion.
Then Esom, we have uh, a circle with a cross in it. Basically, all the pastors of this church and Riverview, uh, back to number two, I think, on the list or somewhere on there. All the saints and pastors. Others. I thank you for your help today, Liz, Nick, Ethan, Z. Uh, you can go ahead and take your seats if you would, please. As you go through this Christmas season, <coughs> remember the reason that we are celebrating Christ too often. 